Hello and welcome to Cox Connections. I'm your host, Gary McCollum, Senior Vice President and General Manager for Cox Virginia. 2013 marks the inaugural Legacy Media Institute International Film Festival held at Norfolk State University. This event promotes independent films that showcase cultural diversity and sensitivity to combat the stereotypical images we typically find in our everyday media choices. Troop 491, The Adventures of Muddy Lions, is one of those films that initiates a dialogue on those issues that bridge or hinder cultural awareness and appreciation. Here's a clip. Hey, Miss Foster, can Tristan come out? Hey, yo, Slim, slow down. It's like, nah, yo, what's good, dog? Yeah, chillin', man. Oh, you got this fool with you, too, huh? What's good, B? Yo, T, you want something? Aw, oh, man, if the got this. I got you. What you want? All right, let me get some skittles. All right, bro. All right, good luck. Hey, y'all got white tees. Let me see a large. Nah, nah, let me get an extra large. I'm trying to slang these streets, bro. This bitch is supposed to be the good thing. Hey! What you doing back there? Y'all see the line fat ass try to grab me. <laughs> hey, hit the matrix <laughs> on him. Man, y'all booked on that? Borrow sounds better. Man, that sound close. Yeah, somebody getting aired out. How hear that gun sound? Sound like the chopper going ham. Nah, that's a nine million and a twenty-two going there. Nah, that's a block in the Beretta. Tristan, get in the house. All right, see y'all later. All right. You boys get on home. Your parents are probably worried. <laughs> Gunshots serenaded the neighborhood of Churchill when a shootout took place near the Five Corners Mini Mart. Three people were injured and sent to the hospital, two with minor injuries, one in critical condition. Police have. Here with me now is Emmy nominated actor, director, producer, and founder of Legacy Media Institute, Tim Reed. And joining him is the writer and director of Troop 491, Praheem. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Good to be uh, Tim, here. let me start with you. First, thanks for being on the show. Talk a little bit about Legacy Media Institute and, and why you decided to form this nonprofit organization. Well, as everyone's probably aware, young people have taken to the media uh, in every possible way you can think, and it's pervasive in their lives. And over the years, I've noticed that um, we all complain about some of the work we see and and I'm thinking, well, instead of cursing the darkness, let's light a candle. And uh, so I used Sundance as a model and said, can't we create something on the East Coast that can deal with these young filmmakers? And just not, not so much uh, tell them how to make films, but to give them the information they need and so they understand the power of film, the images that they put out there, and work with them. So we started about four years ago, the Legacy Media Institute, and we work with young filmmakers in the U.S. We work with young filmmakers in Africa, in London, uh, uh, Cuba. And we take uh, filmmakers from the U.S. over to uh, London for uh, uh, workshops, and we bring uh, filmmakers from Europe and Africa over to the U.S., and we all work together over the years making films, working and talking about films. And we work with uh, Norfolk State Universities where we're sort of based. Well, talk about that. I mean, this is the inaugural International uh, Film Festival, mm -hmm. which is co-sponsored by Norfolk State University and the city of and Norfolk. And the city of Norfolk, yes. Uh, what are you hoping to achieve? Well, hoping we achieve is to, is to let people realize uh, more than they do that we are now in a global world. Uh, it's no longer just Norfolk or uh, Hampton Roads. This is a global world, and these images are very powerful, and they're affecting young minds all over the world. So I want to first let people know that the diversity issue is not only an issue, it is a need. We need to let people know more about what, what the cultural differences and the cultural similarities of people are, and uh, what better way to do it than storytelling. So hopefully uh, working with these young filmmakers, uh, people like Prime, who I've known since he was in, I guess, elementary school, <laughs> and, uh, 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 and to see him 
uh, prosper and make his own film, come to us and say, would you work with us to help us produce it? And to see the work that he's come up with gives me a lot of uh, pride and joy in what we've attempted. Now, in addition to the uh, screening of these independent films, you're mm -hmm. also going to have workshops and uh, workshops. other things at the... Uh, workshops. The we're going to bring professionals in from all over, uh, animation. We're going to talk about the future of independent filmmaking uh, uh, in the areas of animation and other filmmaking, and also distribution. One of the problems that a lot of young filmmakers have is that it's nice to make this stuff, but how does it get out? Prahim has been fortunate. We're going to be showing it in theaters uh, starting this fall uh, around the country. Uh, it's going to be on television. So. Uh, he's getting his work out. So how do we do that? And, and young people need to know more about that before they start spending money and their uncle's money and their mother's money and their, their school money to make films. They got to know they can. It's, it's also a business yeah. and they've got to have some business uh, experience. Great, great, great point. Prem, let me go to you. Before we start talking about the film, tell me a little bit more about yourself. I'm a Richmond native, uh, graduated from Howard University with a degree in film, and then I went to Florida State where I received my master's in film production, and uh, I've just been working in film ever since 2010 and linked up here with Mr. Reed and made my first film, uh, Troop 491, The Adventures of the Muddy Lion. So we just saw the clip. Um, it's going to be part of the film festival. Yes. Uh, tell us a little bit more about the film. Give us a synopsis of the film. Uh, Troop is a coming of age tale. Follows a young kid, Tristan Foster, who's a inner city youth, a uh, single mom. She's worried she's going to lose him to the streets, so she puts him into the Boy Scouts. He ends up skipping out on a meeting and he witnesses a murder and he has to make a decision. Is he going to keep to the code of the streets or is he going to keep to the code of the Scouts? And you watch him as he goes on this journey with these new kids from the Boy Scouts and you kind of see how the Boy Scouts and their, their mantra kind of has a, uh, a positive effect on his life. So what inspired you to make this film? I was a Boy Scout when I was growing up and I could just remember the type of movies that came out when I was young. They never really showed uh, black kids in a positive light. They were usually gangster films, shoot 'em up films. And so I wanted to make something that was gonna help diversify the images of young black kids. Yep. And uh, you know, have some sort of a positive message along it as well. Let me thank you. You, you filmed this in my hometown of Richmond, Virginia. And yes, I understand sir. you used local talent, local young youngsters in the, in the film. Uh, talk about that experience. Well, we, Richmond has a lot of untapped talent. We found a lot of great artists, a lot of great actors. Um, working with kids was very challenging, but um, it was also a lot of fun at the same time because it, it just kind of reminded me of my youth and uh, gave me an opportunity to reach back and, and give them something to look up to as a, as a filmmaker and someone who was kind of running the show. They could see someone of their, of their same color who was also, you know, in a position of power. And so it was just a... You only have a, a minute left. But what do you want people to walk away after seeing your film? Well, I want them to feel inspired and hopeful that, you know, despite their upbringings, despite their environment, that they can, they can impact change on their environments if they want to. Um, you know, the movie is about hope and how this one kid does something to make a difference in his community. Well, Tim, I'm going to give you the last word. Um, again, congratulations on yeah. what you're doing. Um, what are you what are you gonna what do you hope to accomplish with this the start of this festival here in the in the region? Well I hope with the film festival and hopefully we'll go on year after year, we bring filmmakers over from all over the world, but also filmmakers like Priam to prosper, create the kind of works that he's created. There's a lot of young talent, not only in Richmond and this Hampton Roads area, actors, many of the actors in the film are from this area as well. So I want people to know that there's uh, there's work here and there's there's uh, there is a business of uh, entertainment here that can be, you know, be prosperous for everyone, the community as well as uh, the filmmakers. Well, congratulations to you after had, having had such a, an, an outstanding yeah. career in, in acting Thank and you. directing to come back and make this huge difference in this region. Uh, it doesn't get any better than that. And Prahim, congratulations on a great film. I can't wait to see it. Thank you for having me. When we come back, one out of five children who age out of foster care end up homeless. You'll meet an advocate for foster use and how she's working to help them overcome challenges so that they can lead successful lives. Stay tuned for more Cox Connections.